Division it up? Yeah, it's like, I don't know. It's what fine. do you want it to do? Nothing. I, I, I'm, it's good. It's just like, whenever my hair dries, it starts to get frizzy mm. instead of like curly, mm. how I like it. But it, I don't know how to keep it like moisturized the right way. I need a product. <laughs> Have you gotten any products? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm just problem. thinking of putting something in your hair. Like, I want to put something in your hair. It's like, I don't know. I put coconut oil in it. Doesn't work? Mm -mm. Does it just dry out? It, like, after a couple hours, it's dry. Mm. And just, I'm, I'm sure it would be fine if it was dry and moisturized. Yeah. Maybe it would stay, like, a little bit curly. But it, like, it really coils in and, like, frizzes up. So, like, it's, like, shorter and shorter as it dries, it feels like. <laughs> I like how you pulled it down. Yeah. And it yeah. Back up. I'm showing you guys what I mean. It's, like, going like that. You need you need to watch some TikTok videos about how to care for curly hair. I do. It does take steps and process, mm -hmm. uh, products, so you just need to do it. I finally have products that if I put them all together, they don't make my hair do that. Oh, um, that's good. Uh, the, like, flaky thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because that even happens with, like, skincare products. It'll, like, make your skin Yeah, flaky. like, if you don't let some of them, like, some some serums, if you don't let it, like, sit first, then it will react with, like, whatever you put on next, and then it gets, like, all weird. Mm. So. I need a better skincare routine. My what do you skin. do right now? Not a lot. <laughs> it's usually, well, here's my first issue, is I wash my face in the shower. Okay. So the only problem with it is is that sometimes I forget uh -oh. <laughs> and other times like about where this is I'll going. take a shower in the morning okay or sometimes I'll take a shower at night okay and sometimes if I take a shower in the morning I'm like oh I don't want to wash my face yet because I want to wait till the nighttime to clean all the dirt off of it from the day <laughs> right is that wrong yeah it's like your teeth well, I don't brush twice a day, but you know how they say you should. <laughs> yeah. You got to cleanse twice a day. My face? Yeah. In the morning and at night? Mm-hmm. Well, what type of skin do you have? Dry, oily, neutral? It's like dry and oily. Like you have oily spots, but otherwise it's dry? Yeah. You're probably like me. I can show you my routine. Yeah, I need one because I'm like... I don't know what I'm doing. I use this, like, CeraVe stuff. Mm -hmm, that's fine. That's a moisturizer, though, right? Or is it the cleanser? It's the cleanser. Yeah. That... Is it water-based? You don't know. Mm, no. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I didn't know I'm this like, stuff either. So now based. I know. <laughs> I'm so based. <laughs> no, yeah. because, like, th we could get into it, like, yeah. off camera, but, like, there, there's different skin types, obviously, and then it's, like... There are different cleansers that are oil-based or water-based and so on and so forth. And what I've learned as a dry skin shorty with like oily patches is that usually the oily patches come from our skin being so dry that you're like your skin's trying to make up for it. Mm. But then like it'll overproduce oil in some spots and then we might have breakouts or whatever. So you actually need to like meet it with both so like i do i have a water-based cleanser and an oil-based cleanser mm -hmm. but also like if you only use water-based you're gonna keep drying your skin out so you're gonna keep perpetuating the cycle um and i do cleanse my face twice a day but in the mornings i don't use anything i just use a um microfiber towel because microfiber actually the like design of it um cleanses the skin similar to like soap which is oh. interesting. So I just get it wet with hot water and wipe down my face. But then at night, I do a double cleanse. So I use an oil cleanse first. And that kind of like clears out the pores because the oil like pulls the like dirt and stuff out of the pores. But you don't want to leave that on there because then it can reset. So then you use a oh. water cleanser to take it all off. Okay. And then as dry skin shorties, <clears throat> we just have to do a couple extra steps to have our skin properly prepared to take moisture in. Because mm. that's where we kind of struggle a little bit. How do you know all this? Because I was, like, tired of being broken out as an adult. And I was like, what's wrong? And yeah. then I learned about my skin more. And, like, just it's taken me a while. But now the routine I'm on, I feel like, leaves my skin looking pretty good. Yeah, you have very clear skin. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
So I'll show you what I do. Yeah, I love to see. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a big fan of Korean skincare products. I've oh. found that for whatever reason, like they just they just hit it home for me. Okay. Yeah. So okay. and I get most of it at TJ Maxx, so it's not expensive. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. That's we can go nice. shopping if you want. Yeah. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, I'll show Vlog you what it. I get. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. No, because like I'm just big on skincare because I feel like I didn't I've been lucky that I've had pretty good genetics for the most part when it comes to skin. Like, I never really had bad acne or anything like that. Same. But at the same time, like, I also didn't develop any kind of skincare routine until I was, like, 32. And I think I do look great for my age and everything, but I just imagine, like, what if I got started sooner, you know? Mm, and, like, uh -huh. you're 23, so it's perfect time to get a really good routine down and, like, yeah. maintain it and everything. Definitely. But, um... But yeah, and it's like, it's not that complicated once you figure out like what you need. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like now it's like, I'm just really consistent with my routine. And it's like I said, like my skin's pretty clear. I even with what I do now, like I've gotten my pores to shrink because they were kind of getting bigger because that does happen with age. But I learned how to. Keep how do you know? Um, it's it kind of sucks. But like, you can't tell now because I've worked on it. But like. You know how, like, if you look close at your skin, like, you can see, like, little tiny, like, dots, right? Mm -hmm. They actually will start getting bigger. And part of their, like, biggerness is that they have gotten bigger, but that also means that more, like, dirt and oil can, like, sit in them. So mm. then they're more noticeable. And I was getting it more, like, on my nose and, like, right here. Mm. But you can't tell that now. Mm -mm. Yeah, and it's just because, like, I learned how to clean the pores properly and then keep it, like, keep it toy. Okay. toy like a toy guy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, hmm. but we should uh, we should yeah. go to TJ Maxx and I'll yeah I'll, like literally I, I'm at a point where it's like I use one two three four five products other than cleansers and I don't even use all five every time so That's it's just bad. about yeah. the steps yeah because mm -hmm. like I have a daytime. A moisturizer and a nighttime moisturizer because the nighttime ones are like a little bit richer so you can like sleep in it oh okay, and like okay. yeah so <clears throat> it's good once you get a routine down like it'll be locked in and you'll just be good do you ever try like new things or you're just pretty set yeah for um like the only thing i don't mess with is i use um like straight up oil as one of my moisturizers so i use a jojoba oil and lavender oil mix that i just like mix together mm. and then um castor oil mm. um and i just like i put castor oil in my hand and then the jojoba lavender mixture and then i mix that together in my hands and put it on my face that's the only thing i don't mess around with because it's just working so mm -hmm. i'm like don't want to fuck with it castor oil is really really good for your skin oh. very moisturizing because it's super viscous but it's also really good for like fine lines and stuff like that and mm. i've definitely given it credit to reducing my eye bags and the color and to like wrinkles like because i was starting to notice some of my fine lines like setting a little bit more so i started doing my whole skincare routine and then just like adding extra caster like in the lines and then on the bags and it's totally like reduced them oh wow i have such bad eye bags so you don't i mean i don't see them but i know how it feels because i feel I, like i have really bad yeah. eye bags and people tell me they don't see them so i don't like, see them yet <laughs> I don't know. I so feel like when I look in the mirror, yeah, I can tell for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. But yeah, I'm going to put you on, girl. Okay. I think you'll like okay. it. And like, I love doing skincare too because it's like, I don't, I don't know. I feel like it's like a form of self-care that's like really, really healthy. Like, it's really good for you. I feel like it's good for us to spend time like touching our own face, looking mm -hmm. at it in the mirror and being like, I look cute, you mm -hmm. know, or like noticing how good your skin looks. Like it's very, I think it's really important whether mm -hmm. you're male or female, old or young mm -hmm. to like love that skin that you're in. And so for sure this, yeah, I love doing my skincare. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'll be like so lazy that I'll be like, oh, I'm, I'm just going to skip it. And then I start one step. It's kind of like the gym. I'll start like one step and then I'm like, just Locked do the in. other ones, yeah. <laughs> you know? Locked yeah. In. Yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. and one big thing for the pores. I'm sorry, I'm like going off because you got me in a nerdy stage. Dude. No, I like this it, is I, like I love skincare. <laughs> no, um, the biggest game changer for my pores, and I hope this helps anyone, is I got a skin scraper. So it's like, um, it kind of sounds intense, but it's really not. It's like this. 
um, it's just this little instrument. It's like, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks. And you turn it on and it like vibrates. Oh, I feel like I've seen it. Yeah. And basically <clears throat> like I like if I see like my pores look clogged, I'll like run it and you just you don't want to go too hard, but you just push it along and it just like pushes the like stuff out of your pores. Oh. And it's kind of like gross because you'll be looking at it and you're like, dude, that's in my face. But it's also really satisfying because like for me anyway, especially because I've gotten my pores a lot smaller, it's stuff that I wouldn't have been able to get out without like digging too hard with my nails and then leaving my face all scabbed up, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And then there's like a proper way of like prepping your skin to use the scraper too. That's not super intense, but there's a proper way to do it so that the pores are ready to like release when you bring that scraper over. And that has been a big game changer for me too. So I'll show you that too. Because... Where did you get that? I just got it on Amazon. Oh. Yeah. Super How'd cheap. you find out about it? Uh, watching TikTok videos oh. about dry skin shorties because oh. <laughs> we are um, we can be prone like to larger pores if we don't know how to take care of our skin because again with the skin being so dry and the skin wanting to make itself moisturize that overproduction of oil will open up the pores to have like more oil come out but then therefore now you have bigger pores for more dirt to set in so oh. it's kind of like this vicious cycle uh -huh. if you don't know how to take care of it um but yeah that scape that scraper i probably do it it's pretty safe to do like a couple times a week okay. so i would say like every other day ish or maybe every two or three days i do it and just add it and it takes it makes my routine a little bit longer but it's worth it like on the nights that i have to do it and i only really do it when i notice it like when i'm just like oh i can see like there's a little bit extra like pores or dirt or whatever does, does it feel do good it. does it um hurt? it doesn't hurt uh Feeling good? I don't know. I mean, it's just feels like... Feels good now. Feels good. <laughs> no, I, I... What was that word you used earlier? You weren't yay or, or nay for something? Oh, indifferent? Yeah. That's oh. how I feel about it. It's more like... Yeah. I, again, the bigger part is that it's just like Worth satisfying it. to get stuff out of your face, but then grosses me out because I'm like, <laughs> ew, that was in my face. <laughs> but also, it's like better to have it off of your face exactly yeah. so i'm always happy that mm -hmm. i got it out and then and then the best part is like the next morning after you finish like you cleaned it and then you did the rest of the skincare and you wake up and your skin's like literally brighter and like tighter yes. pores yeah clean. like i'm like <clears throat> yes babe. snatched snatched mm -hmm. and that little skin scraper it will also scrape away like any like dead skin that's like on the mm. surface so super nice too that is nice yeah Wow, you got me on Nerdville. <laughs> <laughs> I can go. Skincare. I can talk about skincare all day. Mm. Love it. Loves it. Loves You've done, it. Like, and a I lot don't feel like. Well, kind of. I was just gonna say. I don't even feel like. I feel like I've like only barely scraped the surface, but I've fa I've learned enough of like having successful like skin routine now that makes me happy with my skin and it's mm. clear and. I mean, even if I do get like a little breakout, it'll be like one or two little blemishes that. I feel like I know how to manage it well if it happens. So, yeah, I don't even know all the things that I think you could be doing, but... There's a lot to know in that world, and mm -hmm. it's, like, constantly changing, I feel like. Yeah. Well, and just like any other subject, it's, like, you're going to hear, like, opposing arguments True. about everything. True. And I feel like my favorite thing about my routine is that I went from doing, like, eight to ten steps to, like, half of that and have way more success with it you know and it's it's simple mm -hmm. and i feel like that's doable realistic yeah yeah and i feel like that's kind of the best with skin because like you can go on the deep end of like oh i need a red light face mask and i need mm -hmm. a microdermal thing and this and that and the next and maybe if you have the budget and the time sure go do those other things but as someone who wants to keep it simple i feel like i found a good routine mm -hmm. and little tools to use and like okay cool yeah you gets know. the job done yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right welcome back and we haven't said that nope oh episode 20 Woo! let's go wow. i don't know if y'all could tell but we did switch up the shooting what do you call that feature no <laughs> exactly the, the shooty thing yeah the quality uh -huh. Style? Style. Is it? Format? Function. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's format. That sounds pretty good. Okay. So we're shooting on the iPhone as per use because we're bouge. But um, we switched it up from just shooting regular video 
to cinematic. So Ooh. if Shay's looking a little sharper, Ooh. if my hair is looking a little straighter and you mm-hmm. can see the individual hairs a little <laughs> clearer, that's why. Just so Cinematic you know. vibes today. Also, if it looks terrible, <laughs> mind your business because we don't know what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Um, sure. Anyway, it's episode 20 of A Very Cool Podcast. Woo, woo. Let's go. We are at 20, and we were talking about this earlier, that that means because we drop one video of gold every single week at 4 p.m. PST, be there or be square, um, <laughs> we just realized it's been five months. Five whole months five already. Five months of Almost dedication. Almost half a year. Right? Wow. This is how devoted we are to you mm-hmm. and your entertainment every hump day. So you're welcome. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> Subscribe. Hey, realizing all the work we yeah. put in the last five yeah. months. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys better subscribe. Yeah, you better share it with your friends. You better comment down below. You better like it <laughs> twice if you can. Ring that bell. Ding a ling. That way you get notified. Because we've talked about this several times. I've made it clear to you that when you ring that bell and it happens on a weekly basis, it's going to become Pavlovian. Like you'll start drooling a little bit. Around 4 p.m. on Wednesdays, P- huh. PST, because you're gonna be like, wait, what? What is going on? And then you're gonna realize, be oh, for there's it. There's another episode. Shay PP <laughs> and Christiana Pervy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I threw that in for you. Thank you. Are dropping gold right now. That's mm-hmm. what you're gonna say. You're gonna be like, there's another episode, and we have no idea what they're gonna talk about. Is it gonna be <laughs> alpaca sex, whale penises, mm-hmm. dogs humping, threesomes? Four sums. Eleven sums. Ten sums. <laughs> We've you talked just, about it all here. We talk about it all. We've had guests on. Well, one guest so mm-hmm. far. I mean, we just went off about skincare for 15 minutes. You mm-hmm. didn't ask for that, but you probably learned something. I did. You know what? I'm going to link that skin scraper below too because yeah. ladies... It's a game changer. Mm-hmm. As I like to say, gamme change, which is not actually French, but I just put accents on game changer <laughs> and it sounds bouge. What? What? Gamme change. <laughs> that, Try yeah. it. Say it again. Gamme. Gamme. Change. Change. Yeah. <laughs> game changer. I did not know that's what you were saying when you said that the oh, first yeah. time. I've sa- I say that a lot, actually. Really? I think people don't realize because it doesn't <laughs> sound like English, but I just took an English word and switched Made it up, it? a little bouged it up. Yeah, you do that. I like to zhuzh things up. Yeah. I'm a bougie gal at heart. At heart? At heart. In reality, out loud. what do you think? <laughs> out loud? <laughs> yeah. In reality. I'm bougie out loud. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh I gosh. think so, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Mm-hmm. It's just my vibes. Mm-hmm. I like pretty things. Nothing wrong with what that. What can I say? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, y'all. I don't think I'm very bougie, honestly. No? No, I think I'm just like <laughs> thrift store vibes. I mean, a lot of my stuff is thrifted, though. I got this couch off the street. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She decided to put this, she was going to get this couch by herself. <laughs> I did. She's like, I don't, I'm not going to ask anybody for help. I'm just going to go and get it by myself. Good thing some random guy helped you. Put it in the car. Yep. <laughs> and tied it. it up. Yep. I had no rope or anything. He looked at me like I was crazy. <gasps> you should have seen me, you guys, you should have seen me pull up in front of my apartment and get it into the house by myself. Because that part I did by myself. Why? Why don't you ask for help? I don't know. It was like random and on the weekend and I just didn't know who was available. That's why you ask. <laughs> That's the whole I asking think all part. Of you, all of my friends should just have store hours. <laughs> yeah. Let me know. Yeah. So I can just look on your website and see when you're free. <laughs> Office hours for Christie's questions. <laughs> I've always been like that though. I'm just like, I'll just do it myself. So, so it, it's the stupidest thing ever. I don't take any pride in it. It's like, it's, it's, it can be problematic when, like, shit's really going down for me because I'm like, I'll just handle this myself. I'm like um, the opposite. You ask for help? In, like, too many situations. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, maybe we come with maybe me to do this. Come with me with to do me. that. Yeah. And it's like lifting, like, a toothpick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
literally. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, can you come with me to do this? I can't even think of something off the top of my head. But, oh my gosh, that's really yeah. funny. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's I You're just like independent. Yeah, but it's like too much so. Like I think I need to work on it. Like I it's funny because like I don't live and breathe by like astrology or anything, but it is very much like a Leo quality that like we take everything on 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 our own mm -hmm. and we have too much pride to ask for help. And it's like part of it is sometimes that like I wasn't like when I was going to go get this couch like, oh, I'm too proud to ask for help. I just was like, literally, I was just like, I need to go get it now. I don't know who could help me. So I'm just going to figure it out. Like that was like <laughs> literally my mindset. And but I do know, too, that there's been certain situations where like I probably should have reached out and asked for help and I didn't. And mm. it probably could have gone a little bit easier or better or resolved faster yeah but i just I, it's not i don't know it's just it's not in your nature it's yeah it's just like it's not the first thing to come to mind to yeah. ask for help yeah and i need to let go of that because that's what like friends and family and relationships are all about and for and built off of yeah yeah, yeah. and i think <clears throat> sometimes i just maybe some of it is like i just don't want to be a burden mm -hmm. to anyone mm -hmm. i want to always like be an asset to people's lives and then i think that asking for help is like gonna burden someone yeah <laughs> but really it's, it's like not. no that's yeah. just what you do that's what you're... friends do yeah. <laughs> I'll, so. I'll always be a burden if you're my friend <laughs> like don't even worry about that <laughs> <laughs> it, you know what is funny about that though is that i notice sometimes because that's my mindset personally that sometimes i have to sit back with like friends or family that i know well and i know like, I don't know how to explain it. Sometimes, like, if somebody will ask me about something where I'm just like, it should be easy to figure this out or whatever, I have to actually check myself and be like, no, Chrissy, they're just asking for help because they want, like, a second opinion or advice. Oh. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. they're actually doing something that's logical or, like, reasonable. But in my brain, I'm like, why don't you just figure it out? Mm -hmm. But it's, like, because I that's have this you stupid, hard-headed <laughs> idea around how to solve problems, you yeah. know? Yeah. And so it's, like, it's kind of nice because, like, I am trying to, like, check myself when, like, when I do have friends or family reach out because I'm like, no, like, they're actually just, like, seeking out like an extra avenue to make sure that they know what they're doing or get advice or whatever and like maybe you should just take a page out of that book <laughs> instead of trying to lift a couch by yourself <laughs> that's a pretty big couch i've too. done that kind of stuff so many times though <sighs> i've rearranged my entire apartment by myself <laughs> you know how my bed is in that bedroom i moved that whole bed from that bedroom by myself i believe it yeah, and it was hard. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, I'll just struggle through this. I literally I was made for this. Oh my god. No, it was like <laughs> it was again, I was just like, I don't know who to ask to help me move my bed I'll, and I wanna be in that room. So I'll just do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> that <was> so stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should just ask. I know. So I'll learn one day. One day. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh. What about you guys? Are you like me or do you ask for help like me? Like Shay. I ask for help for like activities and stuff. Yeah. Like come with me to do this or I need help doing this. Yeah. That's easy for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When is it not easy to ask for help? If, um, if that's a thing for you. Yeah. Maybe like. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. <laughs> like, maybe it's not a problem. Maybe it's not, it's a, not problem. a problem for you. I think that's good, though. I don't think so, yeah. I don't think it's hard for me to ask for help. I like that. Or anything. See, maybe, like, more mentally. I'm not, like, one to talk about my feelings as mm, much. So I can see that, that. with you. <laughs> Hold on. Pause. No, Why? Because one time in Toxic Traits uh, series, you said that you, like, uh, oh yeah, you yeah, said yeah. something about you I'd rather keep things bottled you. up or whatever. I'd rather ignore you than tell you how I feel or something. Yep, like that. that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just know it is. You some of the times. Yeah, yeah. that's funny. Oh, mm -hmm. Is it easier for you to ask for help mentally than physically act 
activity wise no it's not it's so an, both ways it's yeah just... and, and it's funny because like i think sometimes mentally it's like it's not even necessarily a pride thing it's more that i'm like i kind of have to go through this because i need to figure this part of myself out mm. and no one else can do that for me mm -hmm. but at the same time i would say that in certain situations because like we've talked about this like i've battled with depression you've battled with depression and it's like i think there's definitely been circumstances where it would have been good for me to like talk to a professional you know and like kind of work it out mm -hmm. but i still made it through some pretty dark times on my own and i'm like proud of that and proud that i learned something about myself and like because i think too not to make this like tangent too much on like depression but like i don't know about you but mine like ha like comes and goes in waves it can be yeah. very like roller coastery mm -hmm. where it's like i'll be fine for however long and then something will trigger it and then i'm like in i i feel like um i always reference it more as like depressive episodes because i don't feel like i'm always in depression i think there's people who like I mean, I know because I've heard it that there's people who physically like can't get out of bed, you yeah. know, because like life, like it's that hard, yeah. you know, for them. And I've gone through phases of that, but never for like super extended periods of time. But that's why I call it depressive episodes because I feel like sometimes like something will trigger me. I don't even expect like when Lily got hurt recently that like sent me in a slump for like half a week and I it, it was really hard like I was just like whoa it's crazy and like the way the directions like my mind went and it wasn't even just about Lily it was about like lots of life things you know mm -hmm. what and, you can um, like bring up yeah you know, exactly and, yeah. and so it's like sometimes I feel like I'm like destined to go through those episodes to learn something new about myself or to overcome some other aspect of my depression or get a new tool for the toolbox but um, I do find, and I don't know what your experience has been, sorry, I'm like talking for such a long time, but <laughs> when it comes to depression and when I first started trying, like when it got really heavy for me with depression, um, I found that when I did try to talk about it to people that I was close with, it made them very uncomfortable because mm. like they didn't know what to say or how to <laughs> cope with for it. For sure. And... I think a lot of the time That's... when you're depressed, like you kind of just want to, you will just want somebody to hear how you're feeling or mm -hmm. whenever, when, when you're suffering in any way, I think oh, you just so... need to be heard. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but when you consistently see how uncomfortable, like talking about being depressed, how it makes other people uncomfortable, it kind of shuts you down from wanting to talk about it. It's a know? really negative experience. Yeah. And I know that they're not yeah. intending that to happen or to make anyone feel that type of way but that has been my experience like telling even like some of my best friends or a parent or whatever like th where I was like having moments of depression and seeing how uncomfortable it got it just made me like recoil you know mm -hmm. so go back in your show too. a little yeah. bit yeah for sure I, I feel like that too I feel like for me it does come and go I don't think it's ever been with me for like a really long period of time either mm. I think it, that's pretty similar to me it usually is like a wave and certain I don't know if it's like instances like actual things that trigger me I think I just wake up some days and I'm like just off off yeah yeah I and it could that. happen it could be like that for a week but <clears throat> then it'll go away or sometimes the weather oh yeah the weather will do it to do me that. big time but yeah it's not usually like situational mm. but can you ask for help in, when it happens um, <laughs> exactly. I just, yeah I you kind feel, of just have to go through it sometimes yeah I, that's my I've, take anyway yeah I've also in a similar way like every time I've talked about it never been it's never been received in a way where I'm like oh I feel so much better I'm like I'd rather just handle this yeah. on my own I yeah. feel better after it yeah, <laughs> yeah. for like, sure yeah I feel like and I, I don't know we don't have to keep talking about this but um I feel like one thing though is like I've met other people who I know like have like I don't know I don't know if you can like 
rate somebody's depression compared to somebody else's but mm -hmm. maybe seemingly somebody who didn't who had like harder depression or just harder coping mechanisms or whatever where i've been like hey like i've been through really down times so like if you're going through it you can text me and call me like whatever and you can tell me mm -hmm. and um i really try when those individuals reach out to just like listen because mm. i usually i feel the awkwardness too where i'm just like oh what do like, i it's say heavy. Yeah. yeah and i really just try to listen um and ask questions based on what they say or what they've like told me before mm -hmm. and um and that's really the most that i've found i can do that I hope is helpful, but I've never, I've never really checked in to be like, did was that, that helpful? Did that help at all? Cause I'm not a professional. Yeah, I'm not. But That's, that is the thing too. Yeah. Yeah. But I do know sometimes it's just like nice if you know, you can just talk about dark shit to someone who's mm. not going to like shut down from it, you know, or like judge you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That I think too. that also scares me sometimes. I'm like, I don't want to talk to you about this. Yeah. I don't want to be judged <laughs> about it. <laughs> dark thoughts <laughs> or anything like that i've definitely told multiple people that i'm like i've like been through enough of my own dark experiences and known like had close friends who've had dark experiences stuff like that like just life stuff right mm -hmm. um where i'm like a lot of things don't shock me you know and so i'm like if you're really going through some weird or fucked up shit like you could talk to me about it because it doesn't really shock me. i think that's why i do well with true crime mm -hmm. <laughs> because like mm. it's awful like mm -hmm. for sure but it's like a lot of stuff just doesn't shock me anymore not that i've like seen some of these crazy true crimes personally or experienced that kind of stuff but i don't know it just doesn't shock me i'm like cool tell me what's going on and like you know sometimes mm -hmm. like that's all you can do is listen but that it is helps. really all you can do. Yeah. 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 I think it helps because <clears throat> a lot of time, I mean, I experience this with my clients just that have like physical pain, right? Like I always tell them, I'm like, if you've gotten to this place where you've had your pain for whatever period of time that like all your friends know about it and your family know about it, but they get uncomfortable because they can't help you. Right. And I'm like, and so now you don't talk about it and you just suffer with yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm always like, you can tell me any of your pain things, any of the flare ups, because that gives me information of how we're going to like keep working together or move forward or get you out of pain, you know? Yeah. And I feel like that always brings a lot of like relief to those individuals because they're like, oh, she gets it, you mm. know? Mm -hmm. And I think any of us who lift or have been in sports, like we've dealt with physical pain, you Definitely. know? And so you get it too. Yeah, You're yeah. Like, you can complain to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard. You are hurting. Yeah, yeah it's sure. valid real pain for and sure. it sucks. And it does change who you are too, mm -hmm. you know, for that period that you're in that pain. Mm. It's mm -hmm. hard to be yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You're like, this got too real. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, my God. No, yeah. No, yeah. Mm. I say that a lot. You do. Like, yeah. No, no yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> That's like how I agree with things. That's funny. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Now we've talked about depression. Yeah, nailed Check. it. <laughs> <laughs> this, like, we're just all over the place. Every time. I every love week. it. Me too. It's fun. It's great. It's great. It keeps me on my toes. Keeps me. Keeps you on your toes. Yeah. That's what's important. Very important. Um, yeah. I have this thing that popped into my head okay. over the week. Okay. And it was, it was kind of like a hot take okay. in a way. <clears throat> so I saw this person pop up on my TikTok and they were eating, I think they were eating a hamburger. Yeah. For breakfast. Like just a burger. Okay. Okay. So it made me think in my head like, oh, my mom, a long time ago when I was in elementary school, she would eat more dinner foods for breakfast. Uh-huh. And it would really bother me. It would bother me so much. I can see that still bothering you today. It does. Okay. <laughs> this is my hot take. You cannot eat dinner foods for breakfast. Do what you do you think, think about people that eat breakfast for I love dinner? it. 
Love it. Oh, you my can... God. You are the worst person <laughs> I've ever known. <laughs> So you think so you would eat a burger for breakfast like you would eat pancakes for dinner? Yeah. Ew. No, you don't think that's gross. I know you don't. I do think that's gross. What? I don't like this idea. I I can't even eat fucking scrambled eggs for like out of breakfast time. <laughs> can't do it. Don't so make but, me. Don't even try. So but can I you won't eat do it. dinner for breakfast? No, I mean you did you see this little like what do they call this a nasal fold or whatever? <laughs> like it kind of raised when you said burger for breakfast. I was like what my I feel like um I'm very particular about what foods I'll eat at what times of day same same yeah I would never have breakfast for dinner that makes me like breakfast for dinner so I good. hate the idea of it I think that sounds gross I'll never do it <laughs> I can't I mean like I would say I don't get it but I do because I could never eat dinner for breakfast what breakfast like what do you when you do breakfast for dinner which I didn't know this was a thing you did <laughs> but what do you eat usually like nine times out of ten pancakes why pancakes are just so good I love pancakes we've talked about it on the pod Sometimes I make I'm like great pot pancakes but why would you not want that for like because Midnight it dinner. needs to be before noon. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so have you ever woken up late? Like, you know, 11.30? Yeah. 11.30, 11? Probably, but I didn't order pancakes. You, so you went straight to, like, lunch meals? I, so I would say I would say the closest I had to breakfast waking up late was a breakfast burrito. Okay. Which that is a borderline. Count. Yeah, it's that a borderline because it can go Yeah, exactly. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Is like that is how much I'm like mm -hmm. in sync. Like if I slept in late enough currently, I would get to a point where I'm like, I cannot have scrambled eggs. <laughs> which you know I have every day for breakfast. Yeah. I would get to a point or I'll be like, should I have eggs? Or is it like lunchtime food instead? Mm. And I usually lean to lunch. I Yeah. So you'll wake up and have lunch then? Girl, I don't sleep till 12 anymore. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> you said that if you did, you would wake up and eat lunch. Yeah. <laughs> so if for some reason I slept until 12. Breakfast. What? That's technically you woke up. So your first meal is breakfast regardless. I would only eat two meals that day and it would be lunch and dinner. But lunch no. is the same as dinner. No, it's not. How is lunch the same as dinner? There are different times. But they're the and same I would types eat, of food. No, I would not eat a sandwich at dinner time. Why? You've never had like Subway? I, did you not? Can we You've never had to, Subway? Can we? For okay. dinner? <laughs> no, first of all. <laughs> and second of all, what does having Subway have to do with what time I eat it? The sandwich. You just said sandwich. You can't have a sandwich for dinner. I can't. Did you not hear me That's like what I'm saying. five minutes ago say that I'm very particular about what foods I'll eat at certain times of the day? I did, but sandwich? You can't have a sandwich for dinner. No, that's one of my rules. Okay. I just told you. Okay. So. You know what I can have at lunch or dinner? What? Pasta. Okay, there you go. Yeah. And you can have chicken and rice at both Oh, as yeah, well. I can do that. It's the same foods. Nope. Most of the time. Okay, with the exception of the sandwich. <laughs> And um, if like a salad with like protein, you like a chicken have that Caesar, at dinner? no, that's a lunchtime food. Chicken Caesar, lunchtime <laughs> only. Wait, why would because you not I have want that at dinner? Hot food at dinner. Oh, I want hot food at dinner. Okay, yeah, fair. Yeah, fair, that's fair, fair. That's why there's no sandwich involved. Mm -mm. And I know you can heat up sandwiches, and there are hot sandwiches that are very good. Still lunchtime. <laughs> okay. Burgers. Pizza? Burgers, pizza, Both. lunch, dinner. So you agree then? They're the same foods most of the time. No, that's just my... Uh, not most of the time. <laughs> but... What would you say percentage-wise of the time that it's like similar? I'd say 90% of the time. I guess so. That's probably fair. So but that wasn't majority. my argument. My argument is that I can't eat breakfast outside of breakfast hours. 
Yeah. And I have specific lunchtime foods that fall under certain <laughs> lunchtime hours and they do not cross into dinner hours ever, <laughs> like a sandwich. Okay. I can't think of something else right now that I would only do for lunch. Well, I said the salad. salad yeah. yeah. I can't think of something soup. else. Soup. No, that's both. Could it be both? I'm not a big soup gal. I don't like to soup To be perfectly either. honest. To be perfectly honest. Um, I feel like if it was like chili, couldn't do it at lunch because that's like heavy. I want to have cheese on it. That's that's later. That's <laughs> I want to have cheese on it. <laughs> so that's for later. <laughs> what? What? Just shut oh up. My God. Just shut up. <laughs> Baby back ribs, dinner time. Not for lunch. Too big and messy. Lunchtime. What if you messy? What does messy have to do? <laughs> because I'm gonna need like four napkins minimum to eat like a slab of ribs. Okay. With like sides that are probably gonna be like macaroni, cheese, and mashed potatoes. It's well, like a heavy. But if you're having just lunch, meal, and I want you don't have to time. have the sides. Lunch, I don't want to spend a long time eating. Because I have shit to do. There's still the day. Mm -hmm. Like, there's still day to do. You know what I mean? I feel like lunch is the hardest. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. why it has to be convenient food. Like, sandwich, Caesar salad, not baby back ribs. Because <laughs> that's like, I got to sit down. And I also, like, I'm not the kind of rib eater, like, that's like, <laughs> on the bone. <laughs> like, I'm going to cut. Yeah. You don't cut? ask. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I can't. I can't just. Well, so okay. Here's... how do you eat chicken wings? I don't really eat chicken wings that often, but I will eat them normal because the no. meat is the more tender. I feel like sometimes with ribs, it's like you – I don't want to like chew on the bone. Also, I have to be careful because this tooth and this tooth are fake, so I'm actually not allowed to bite into like – like I can't bite an apple. Oh, because that makes sense. Like it won't break on like one bite or even ten bites probably, but it's about the like longevity. Like I can't eat corn on the cob, which is sad because I like corn. Corn's like my least favorite. What? But I just had it recently, Mother's Day. I love corn. And I actually really liked it. What? What? How was it? Corn on the cob. The best. With yeah. butter or what? What'd you do? I didn't put anything on it, but it was sweet corn. Oh, sweet corn's so good. It was so I good. love corn in all the ways. Raw, like creamed, bread. Not canned. No, like, you know I'm not a processed hoe. <laughs> but I mean how it's prepared. Mm. Roasted. Mm. Creamed. <laughs> bread like i already said um have you ever had um i don't know what the word is in spanish i forget but it's like street corn is basically elote yeah i haven't had it well elote is just the word for corn oh is it yeah <laughs> just so you know just but, cut that but you, no but you nailed it i mean you got it yeah. you got the span that's what it's called the span um but yeah they it's so good they it put like good. it's roasted and then they it is mayonnaise though on there and then uh mm. tajin lime juice and parmesan it's so fucking fuego it's so fucking fuego i can't do mayonnaise like that yeah. it's a thick layer too oh it's so good it's so good i thought you don't like mayonnaise i know you like the dip your pizza but you're like before that i didn't really like mayonnaise either i didn't but now i do and i even told you in the same episode that i put it on oh. my sandwiches and, and i like it on my burgers bang of it i like it on my burgers too Mayonnaise is good. No. But you could probably try it with yogurt. Yogurt. That's yogurt? another word I like to zhuzh up. Wait, 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 wait. Yogurt. Elote with yogurt? <laughs> when you say Spanish words, <laughs> it sounds like it hurts your mouth. Or looks like it hurts elote. your like Elote? <laughs> elote? How do you say it? Elote. Elote. <laughs> elote. Yeah, elote. Like elote. Elote. Hello, Tay. You sound like you're saying hello, Tay. Hello, Tay. Hello, Tay. <laughs> hello, Tay. <laughs> hello, nice Tay. Nice to meet you. Hello, Tay. Elote. Elote. Better. Thank Cute. you. Good job. Great. Thank you. <laughs> so, so you said that with yogurt? What? Try that with yogurt? Yeah, because you don't like mayonnaise. You need something like fatty and creamy. <laughs> I don't know, though. Bitch, I'm just like... trying to help you have a nice treat. <laughs> trying to give you an alternative. What do you want to put fucking almond milk on it? Oat milk, bitch. Stop. Disgusting. No. Yeah. yeah. Fake fucking eggs in a carton. You want to put that on there? 
mad over here. <laughs> salty. <laughs> <A> hell <of> salty. <laughs> I didn't want to try your yogurt idea. Bitch, I was just trying to help you. <laughs> Yogurt's like sour cream, not like You don't mayonnaise. like sour cream? Mm. Oh, I like sour cream. Mm. On like nachos? In I a like, burrito? I like hot sauce. I don't want anything to cool well, it I down. I like both. I like both. I like one. Good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Sorry, I got what? I got hungry. <laughs> like what? I just thought about how like um like at Chipotle I'll get the grilled cheese or wow well, grilled cheese the quesadilla <laughs> and then like I like to get the corn salsa and their sour cream because it's like Mexican sour cream so it's not like the thick stuff it's like the kind of runnier one but it's like crema it's good and then um the the I think it's like tomatillo salsa or whatever. Mm. And then I is it green or green. is it red? The green one. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love the red it one's green. good too. But if I have to pick one, like always, deal, for the most part, for the most part, it depends. It really depends. Mm. And then I I love um, pico de gallo, mm. just because mm. it's like chunky. I don't like tomatoes that much. Ew. I don't like you that much now. <laughs> you like tomatoes? Yeah. That much? Tomatoes are fucking fire, bro. That much? Yeah. Have you ever had like a really good tomato? I've had tomatoes and I'm like, not a really sure. good one. She didn't, sure. did you hear her? I have had a really good I was really very specific. Good... If they're not good to me, how is it supposed to be really good? You don't like a lot of good stuff. Mayonnaise and tomatoes. <laughs> that's not the only two things that I said. <laughs> what else? Just like anything that's like a whole food. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? What? I Tell like... me you don't eat eggs in a carton that are liquefied. I don't. Don't lie to me. I I've haven't seen you do a, a recipe time. with it. Where? You made those little bite oh, egg things. bites. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a long time ago. That was a few weeks ago. <laughs> few How weeks? How long ago was it? Okay, months. maybe a couple months. Months. Still. That was months. Still. And that's the last time I had it. And, Still. And are you eating whole eggs now? I always have eaten whole eggs. Then why did you make those things with not whole eggs? Because I didn't want to use 35 eggs. You didn't want to use real eggs to make an egg food? It wouldn't make an any fucking egg sense. egg white Tell food. Me. Egg white? Yeah, you food. can just get the white out. Also, why can't you have the yolk? Yolks are good for you. There's hella you protein in there. You can have the yolk. And it's good fat. It's, uh, yeah, it's fat. It's good fat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not arguing with you why, about it. But I'm just saying, why I did you have that. an egg recipe that you didn't want to use real eggs for? It was an egg white recipe that I used egg whites for. Why Why is it got to be about color? <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Uh, you guys. <laughs> See what I have to deal with? Yeah, they watch every Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, they know. Right? You better watch every they're, Wednesday. They're on my side. They know. They're not on your Well, what I have to deal with. Y- Tyler, Jamila, and your mom are on your side. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Me and my crew. <laughs> Me and my mom. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <It's teasing. laughs> um, Shout out to Ross because he commented on our last Yeah, video. finally. Thanks, Ross. Yeah. Why don't you? I know you watch every episode, bro. Yeah. You, you could now it's anything. now since you're seeing this, you better comment on. Yeah, this. if you calling don't, you out specifically, if you Ross, don't, we're gonna you're gonna hear about it at the gym. Period. 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 I don't know why that popped in my head, but I was like, oh yeah, Ross comment. Actually, you know who's been slacking? Jamila and Tyler mm. haven't mm-hmm. seen as many comments lately. I will. Let's just call them out. Yeah. Just, yeah. You guys, and really? matter of fact, I know we you guys really? are behind. Yeah. Episodes. Yeah. Why are you behind? Uh, it's the weekend. Binge watch them? <laughs> what do you have to do? Do you have like a kid and some dogs or yeah. something? No. Do you yeah. own a business or something? You're not that busy. Throw on YouTube. Yeah, you're not that busy. <laughs> <laughs> Just called all of them out. Yeah. We're really sorry. We love you. You're still our friends. <laughs> Your mom hasn't been commenting either. She, I know. Mom, get it together. I don't care that you had shoulder surgery. You can still type with one of these. <laughs> You got your toes, right? You got your toes. You have a nose and a husband. (laughs) Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we're calling all y'all out. Get on it. All five of you. (laughs) (laughs) Our our videos have like thirty something views usually, and so like, where are all you guys? (laughs) Your eyes. Where are all you guys that are watching it? (laughs) You should be commenting down below, but you guys are scaredy cats. (laughs) Do you watch Rick and Morty? 
mouth. Oh, God, because Morty does that with his <laughs> eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, I'm going to cry a little bit. Oh, yeah, so get it together, you guys. Seriously, we're here every week. Where are you? you? I feel like I don't, I don't feel very appreciated for episode 20. <laughs> Five months <laughs> of blood, sweat, and tears. Five months months shay's actually cried on the show before what you kind of like fake cry remember that one time uh, <laughs> yeah. and you're like are you okay <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> i was trying to shay's exposed Sell herself subscribe deeply on this show very deeply i know i was talking about the pee pee yeah i know yeah. i got that now i was like oh, I, I was like wow she's jumping in agreeing right away i was like <laughs> <laughs> do you think we'll ever put the podcast on like What's um this? <laughs> 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 do you think we'll ever put the podcast on like spotify we should um, stop <laughs> apple podcast i feel like you're casting a spell or you're like you know it this? actually feels really good <sighs> just to look at <laughs> This is what it would be like when I worked out with Shay like five times a week. She would just do weird shit with her body and just be like, this feels really good, actually. And she never would try it. No, I tried that one thing. And it felt good. No, and it felt stupid. She would like, she does this thing where she gets good. on her hands and knees and then she lifts her feet up in the air behind herself and like flaps her shins around. And kicks them together. Yeah, and it, it looks very good. retarded. And it feels... And it doesn't feel good. I actually tried it, and I felt stupid. I I think it's on video somewhere. I think I have it on she video. She knows it felt good. It She's didn't capping. feel good. It felt, I felt like I hope no one walks in right now and sees me like doing this stupid move. <laughs> Deep down, she's like, oh, wow. No, I've she never it. done it again. She does it here at her house. Because that's how not good it yeah. felt. <laughs> I know she does it in here. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I know she does it. <laughs> She's Catherine. All right, so um, you know what this also reminded me of? Which petting I don't... a cat? <laughs> what? Petting a cat. That's what it looks like. <laughs> um, that's not what I was going to say, <clears throat> but... I could see if the tail was bouncing around like that and you're trying to get it. Um, no. You know on TikTok how there was like that trend where people, and it still exists, where people are like NPCs and they have to, they go like this. And then when people send them stuff on their oh, lives, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're like, mm, my rose, so good. <laughs> That's what yeah. this got me thinking of because they always, when they're waiting for something, they're always like, <laughs> or they stand like this and they do this with their arms. They make so much. It's stupid as fuck. Would you do it? No. Oh my, what? To make money? Why don't you do it then? Because no, you can't just go do it. You have to already have followers. Every to do single it. person that has done it has just gone and done it. But you have to have followers to no, even go live on TikTok. No, you just have to go do it. No. Yes. <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> to do anything, you have to just do it. Well, you have to have Jay, followers. No, you yes. don't have to have followers. You to go to just, live, yes, you're you not going to get followers if you don't start doing something. <laughs> I didn't even say start right. Did you hear that? It was like tart or something. Yeah. Like I couldn't even get the S out. Yeah. You make me mad sometimes. I forget <laughs> letters. <laughs> you're right. I've never been mad at Shay. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. I don't, I've never been mad at you. Mm -hmm. Are you mad at me? Don't lie. Not that I can think don't of. Don't lie. Not that I can don't think lie. of. <laughs> no, I've never been like, oh, fucking Shay's pissing me off. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Ever. Just wait. <laughs> I have to, th I don't even know like what you would do that would piss me off. Well, I mean like things piss you off, right? 
I guess, but it's more like, yeah, I don't know what, I, I don't, I just, I don't I'll know. I'll figure it out. You, you don't want to piss me off. <laughs> no, I'm I do scared. think that sometimes you try to. <laughs> Like, like you, like, I feel like when we were really heavy in the hot takes, you were always trying to bring things to piss me off. Like, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, you yeah. Always, to argue about. Yeah, you, yeah, like, you always wanted me to get mad about whatever it was. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I when didn't. When you would agree, I'd be like. Yeah, <laughs> your eye would do that thing. <laughs> Dang it. I gotta come with the harder one yeah. next time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's oh, true. That's funny. But. Have I ever made you mad? Not that I can think of. I'm pretty chill. Have you ever been like, I'm sick of this bitch? Yeah. You have? No. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> With all the ideas I'm only spouting at you. <laughs> no, I really haven't. <laughs> I know. It's just never been like that. No, not yet. No. It's pretty early. Is it? Five months in. For the pod. But prior to that, we I trained guess. five days a week for, I forget, four months? Five? Four months. Four months? That's true. Wait, what? That was a lot of time. Like Before almost... we started the pod? Yeah. It the pod took was... us four months into training. To... Oh, yeah. We knew each other for four months and then we started. Yeah. It. Wow. Dang. So we've been friends for almost a year now. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Like nine months now. That's crazy. Yeah. Huh. Well, I guess and it has been a while. Uh, yeah. And we haven't gotten mad at each other. Yeah, but like fights will happen. What do you think we'll fight about? Ooh. Like, what do you think our first fight will be about? Hmm. Not dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Not girls. <laughs> Not girls. <laughs> yeah, relationships are safe. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> huh. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I feel because like, you're like fiery and I'm like you're like airy. chillery. Yeah, maybe like oh. just you're really into the hand uh, motions yeah. today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like this it helps was, me this form my warm air. <laughs> <laughs> the me. thing is, is like I feel like I just don't feel like it. I'm not saying we'll never fight, but I feel like it will be very fucking rare because I am more fiery, but deep like at the end of the day we're both really chill you know what i mean mm -hmm. like our chills are different mm -hmm. but like we don't have a problem communicating with each other because we've ad nauseum i've been like shay <laughs> just tell me if you don't like something just tell me if you want to change something just tell me if something's too much or too little like and i've always been able to vocalize that stuff with you too mm -hmm. and we're always on the same page that's true. Like, there have been times where I've almost been, like, nervous to be like, oh, I got to tell her I don't want to do this or I want to change that because I'm, like, not sure where you're going to stand. And then you're like, dude, I was thinking the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's true. It is, like, very nice when that happens. Yeah. That's, like, every time it's happened so far. Every time. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, I don't. I'm trying to think what we could fight about. I just. I mean, like, right now, it's pretty chill. Like, nothing, there's no money involved. There's no nothing. Would you fight about money? I don't think so. I don't either. I think I would be like, I think that with money, it would more be like, I don't think we'd fight about it. I think <laughs> it would more be like, we have to put something, like, an agreement, and then we would just figure Stick that out. That. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> But, like, friends fight. So there's got to be something that we'll fight about. I guess so. I will say, though, I have one friend. Well, I guess it's t technically two because they're uh, it's a married couple. But I've known them for probably, like, 10 years almost. I got uh, Yeah, I'm not sure how long it's been now. Close to 10 years. And we've never fought. And we've actually talked about that. And we don't, we have different um, outlooks on life. Like they're a bit more political than me. Like um, the woman is like very, very feminist. And like, I don't really like identify with anything like that and stuff like that. Like we have different values and views and stuff. And we've never once fought. Our birthdays are two days apart too. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So I do think it is. I mean, I'm not saying that like it's unhealthy to fight or anything like that, mm -hmm. but I, do, I don't know. I've I don't even know what you are when you, what you're like when you fight. 
I don't either. <laughs> I don't either. I mean, I do and I don't. Like, I feel like it actually takes a lot to, like, make me mad, even though, like, it seems otherwise, because, like, <laughs> I have a pretty aggressive personality, as you love to point out. <laughs> this bitch texts me all the time, aggressive. She'll just send me the word aggressive to the things I say. <laughs> yeah, because they're aggressive. <laughs> she likes to tell everybody I'm so aggressive. <laughs> and you like to tell people I pee in the pool, so... Well, that's fact, and you stated aggressive. it first. You're aggressive. That's fact, too. I've never, well. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I've yeah, never been like, say. I'm aggressive. People <laughs> just, just call me come that. come that way. Yeah. You're not the first person that's called me aggressive. <laughs> and you're not the first person that's told me I pee in a pool. Nobody has to tell you. You just do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what but... Anyway, I think it takes a lot to make me really, really mad to where I would fight. Fight? Like, yeah. I don't think we're ever going to get a fist fight. Oh, no. Well, of course not. Because I would meet you and <laughs> you wouldn't even try it. <laughs> no. <laughs> challenge. Is that a challenge? Challenge. Yeah. Challenge. Is that a challenge? Say it. Challenge. <laughs> challenge. Challenge. I'm saying it you right. Are, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying it right. It's a word I made up. <laughs> or a word pronunciation, rather, I made up. Look at Lily looking desperate to get indoors. <laughs> like, bitch, you chose your fate. Oh, okay. Uh. Right, right. <laughs> she says, I gotta pee real fast. Okay, have a great time. Real fast. That's what I tell all my coworkers when they say they're going to the bathroom. Have a great time. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice of me. Kiki! I'm gonna go up, up. Go up, up. Go up, up. Oh, thanks, Loli. I've been joined by my new host, Liliana, the young Lil, the Tigress Lily. Tigress Liliana. Actually, Lily's full name is Tiger Lily Exotic. That's right. You heard that right. I wonder if you guys can see her face. Lily. Lily, look here. Hi, Lily. Kick, 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 kick. I think Shay's pooping <clears throat> because she's been in the bathroom for a while. And it just seems like she's pooping. I hope Shay's double washing her hands because, like I said, pretty sure she pooped. <laughs> really? You're me now. <laughs> I was like, my new host has joined. <laughs> Oh, okay, loved ya. Oh, <laughs> you guys just had your eyes locked, and I was like, I feel like I'm not supposed to be here right now. I feel like this is an intimate moment. This is being She's so cute. She in the camera? I think so, but I don't know how much. I don't think her head is. That's what I was just saying. I was like, I was still talking to the camera. And I was like, <laughs> I don't know if I can see Lily. Yeah. You're talking about me? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are about the hour mark. Really? Yeah. So Shit. I think if you just find a comfy spot. We can close. Come here. I'm in it. I'm in it. Are you in it to win it, Shay? I'm in it. Would you to say win you're it. in it to win it? I'm saying I'm in it to win it. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I am in it. Are you sure? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Sickening. Sickening. <laughs> Shay, what should the people do? Uh, the people should. Like this video if you like us or if you don't like us, but I know you like us. How would you not like us? You Look have no reason. Are. Seriously. We're fucking cute. Seriously. Sir seriously. 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 Subscribe because it's for free. Free ninety nine. And it's anonymous. Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> Um, ring that bell so you get notified every time we post a gem on this channel. 4 p.m. PST every Wednesday. Let's go. And uh, comment down below what you want to see in the future. You guys never comment. Like, Not we've what talked we about the see. same people commenting. Like, if you watch this and you give it a like, leave a freaking comment. We don't care what you say. It's not that hard. 
Yeah. Do you not know how to type? Are you new? <laughs> type. Do you not have press thumbs? enter? Yeah. That's it. That's the whole just do it. thing you have to do. Just do it. Five seconds long. Yeah. <laughs> I think five seconds. <laughs> five seconds. Five seconds long. <laughs> I don't speak in like full sentences. <laughs> I speak like, all the way. Yeah, I speak like halfway through the sentence. And sometimes when you do speak, you like <laughs> say something as it is, but in a different way or like with a different word. What do you, what is that? What? Like when you would say a hot take, you'd be like, this might be controversial. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And it's like it's the same thing. Yeah. I said that with the pet peeves too. Like, yeah. oh, these are very specific. Soup specific. <laughs> I was like, whoa, Shay, you really did something there. Oh, that's called Captain Obvious. Mm. Or no shit Sherlock. Yeah. Mm. That's me. See, I just did what you do. Yeah. Hey, hey you Sherlock. thought that was just me being silly. <laughs> I was sticking to the theme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Shay, where can they find you? Oh, yeah. Find me at on TikTok. Shay lifts two S's, three S's, one of those. And on Instagram at Wesson underscore 707. Period. You can find me on Instagram at Hey Shorties. That's Hey with three Y's shorties and you can find me on tiktok i think it's just under christy Rafanon, but i'm gonna change it to hey shorty soon and i'm pretty sure i said that like two episodes and i still haven't done it but i'm gonna do it okay so just deal with it Get um, on. and you can also find us on tiktok and instagram under two that's t-o-o two cool shorties that shit's all linked below if your little brain couldn't take in all that information at one time. <laughs> you are little smart, brain. okay? You is smart. But I feel like I watched your eye twitch a little bit just like Shay's was earlier and you were just like not getting all that info. It's linked below. Don't trip, okay? okay. Click them all. Follow them all. Subscribe to them all. Do it all, son. Yeah. Period. Period. Bye. Peace. Remember this time. Bitch. <laughs> Wrap it up. <laughs>